I'm still trying to make my way to work. I'm just sitting here watching Lonnie B because y'all know I'm a good, good girlfriend. I love me some motherfucking Lonnie, huh? And he was talking about some shit. Not to piggyback off of what the fuck he was talking about, but he was talking about how motherfuckers is so fake that they don't even know who the fuck they is for real on the inside because they is so busy putting on shits and shows all this propaganda and lies to try to manipulate and swindle other people to their will that they really don't even know who the fuck they are anymore like they don't know when the con begins and when it ends you understand what I'm so saying uh, other than when they're sitting at home by their self in their skin by their self dealing with the effects of all of the manipulation and con and all of the fake shit that they've been putting out there that's the only time that they really sit and deal with who the fuck they really are inside because they have to deal with all their con craziest thing is is when you're that fraud to that level how the fuck can you even recognize someone that is real and genuine in front of you you can't even recognize real you understand what i'm saying because you so busy putting off all this propaganda this lies this fraud this manipulation that you're so paranoid that you're gonna fall victim to your own treachery you understand what i'm saying <laughs> anyway i'll be back what was i saying like these con ass motherfuckers they manipulate every aspect about who they are to fit whatever it is that they feel that you like so they can get whatever it is that they want out of you you understand what i'm saying sometimes motherfuckers they'll be fake they'll give you whatever they want just to be around you because they benefit from your glow you understand what i'm saying so i wasn't quite sure of in what context lonnie b was talking about it at but i get what the fuck he's saying because i've definitely been around some fake ass motherfuckers that i thought that they was one way but then once i really got to know them i realized oh you was putting on the show because you was just trying to hang around me because you trying to fuck with my boyfriend's cousin or some shit like that and this whole motherfucker that you been putting yourself on to me you I ain't even like that for real. Like, you a whole ass little conniving ass little rolling bitch or whatever the fuck the situation is. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you realize that the person was putting on the whole fucking show. Motherfuckers are so fake. Like, they're real life. Come around you, act like they your friend and or manipulate their personality, their appearance to be whatever it is that they feel like it needs to be to fit in with you. Cause they want to get some information out of you you ever had that shit before like you had somebody around you that you really felt was being fake as shit you understand what i'm saying and doing shit that they normally wouldn't do just because for real, for real they just try to get some tea out of you about something i've seen motherfuckers young i've seen motherfuckers put themselves in situations that they know good and goddamn well normally you wouldn't be caught dead with these type of motherfuckers. All because you trying to be fake. Just to get some motherfucking tea out of somebody. Because it's something that you want. You understand what I'm saying? How can you genuinely expect any truth or get any clarity about out of somebody like that? They don't even know. See, the thing is, is when the con gets conned is they don't understand. Every time that you pull in the con, that person, that, that actor, that's just like um method acting. What's that method actor? That guy, um, Heath Ledger, that went crazy after doing that method acting with um the Joker. They take on the characteristics of the person or the whatever it is that they're trying to portray so bad. Every time that you pull a con, you're taking little traits from that person that you're acting as. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that little bits of that gets encrypted into your fabric of, of your DNA of who the fuck you are and then eventually you can't change that that's just like if you think about it in every relationship that you're in I think every woman I, I, I know me personally every relationship that I was in I took a little bit of each one of my boyfriends with me you understand what I'm saying like my first boyfriend he loved like pimp music and shit still to this day I love me some 8 baller MJG and UGK and shit. I had a boyfriend after that that was really like upper sedity he liked going to brunches every sunday and getting real dressed up and I, I i took some of that from him because to where i'm a real chill bitch i like doing that now it was annoying to me at first when i was doing this shit with the nigga because i felt like i was being forced to do it but i actually enjoy doing that shit now so every time that you're pulling a con you are taking little fibers of that person that you are pretending to be and that shit is being embedded into who the fuck you are towards the way you don't even know 
where the con starts and where it begins. I mean, where it begins and where it ends. Where the fuck do you begin and where does the con begin? Where does the con end and where do you begin? Where do you begin and where does you where do you end? You understand what I'm saying? Like these motherfuckers get so lost in that shit. That's why I'm trying to tell you, young. Be fucking careful of the energy. All actors are a fucking con artist. You understand what I'm saying? That's all con artists are actors. Okay? They just don't get paid for it. In the way that professional actors and actresses get paid for it. So at the end of the day, like... You're not going to get no benefit out of being around a person like that. You're not going to get no truth out of a person like that. That person don't even know who the fuck they are half of the time. Other than the fact that they're manipulating, conning, piece of fucking shit. That's it. So, yeah. I don't, that shit, when Lonnie was talking about, about that topic, it just grabbed me so much. I had to jump on and just elaborate my thoughts on that shit. Because I look. I'm trying to tell y'all, I've been around females that run pockets. You understand what I'm saying? That's what we used to call it back in the day. We used to run pockets. They would contort their personality and their appearance to be whatever you wanted it to be. It would be a different bitch with every fucking nigga. Every nigga. And y'all, my cousin was so fucking good at it, young. You know who she reminds me of? The bitch Polly from Claws. That's how good that bitch was. Running pockets. She would be whatever the fuck you wanted her to. Or what she thought. By her, you know what I'm saying, scoping you. Like that, what they say, they be casing, casing jobs yet. Yeah, a bitch would sit there and case your motherfucking ass. And fucking marinate on your ass. And study you. <laughs> you like blonde hair, the bitch would give you blonde hair. If you like the real ghetto bitch, she'll give you hood. If you like the little prissy bitch with a little hood in her, she'll give you that. If you like the little motherfucking yeah, young, that bitch was giving you whatever you like. Okay? I, I love this person that I'm talking about, and she knows that I love her. But to be honestly and truthfully, I'm going to ask her one day, do you know what you want, like, for real? Do you really know who you are? Like who you are. Other than the fact that you want these guys money or you feel like they could get you in a club or they're they gonna buy you clothes or they're gonna pay your mortgage or whatever it is that you, which is mainly material. Other than that, who the fuck are you? Then the get money bitch. Is that all that you are? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I, I think that sometimes these these motherfuckers they get so lost in the car in the game they don't know who they are outside of the fucking game yeah. they really don't know who the fuck they are outside of the game that's why they stay in that low vibration like that they scared they are scared of themselves really who the fuck are you because eventually you're gonna con 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 your way into a tapestry of fucking lies and that's going to be all you are is a big ass fucking car. Who was the child that used to play around out in the, in, in the street, in the, in the alley back in the day? They used to dream of being what? What did you used to dream of being? Like, who the fuck were you before you got lost in the game? <laughs> Even niggas too. Niggas get lost in the game of the hustle of calling bitches. So... Look, y'all. Y'all be easy. I just wanted to come and just elaborate on Lonnie. Because I fucking love that man. I swear to God. God be talking through Lonnie B. What he says is, is something about Mondays with Lonnie B. It's something about Mondays with Lonnie motherfucking B, man. I love y'all. Y'all be great.